And hello, how are we all doing? Welcome to uh, the Happy Hour Live, Trick Stuff Live from Trick Stuff. It's Friday, it's it's actually bank holiday weekend, which I hadn't contemplated this week. Completely missed it, it was bank holiday. So it's your bank holiday weekend warm up. We've got an action packed, fun show for you today. Uh, I'll run you through what's going in there. If anyone's in the comments, just let me know the microphone's working. It should be Sean. Yes, hello, Sean. Right, the. Um, Comments, the audio is working, that's perfect. We are live on Instagram as well. Hello, Instagrammers, uh, you are back to front. So that'll be that'll be cack handed, which we can't do anything about, that's, that's Instagram's fault. But we are live on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the old gram. So say hello, any questions, as always, pop them in the old, uh, the old comments. Hey Callum, hey Claire, Claire, go to sleep. You've just finished work, go to sleep, Claire. Uh, and Sean, how you doing? So what's coming up in today's show? So. We have got, we've got a bit of fun. So first off, let's give these guys a little shout. Uh, Tiempo Tequila, let's give you a little close up on your gram, even though it's back to front. Tiempo Tequila, uh, they've very kindly sent that through to Laura in, uh, in the office there. So we're gonna have a little play with that. Uh, but that was gonna go hand in hand with, uh, I'm gonna do some melon. I've recorded a video this week, which will be out uh, not next week, the week after. Uh, so I'm just gonna do some follow up cocktails for melon puree, not watermelon, but melon. Uh, you can't see them, which is good. I've got a whole load of Hawthorne strainers here, uh, and I'm gonna do a little Hawthorne strainer test, uh, which could be quite funny, because I had a little rant, uh, when was it, last week, week four, about Hawthorne strainers. So I'm gonna do a little Hawthorne strainer test. I've, uh, sorry, Tony, if you're watching this, I have raided some of the posh ones out the, uh, out the showroom, so we'll put them back, don't worry. Uh, and what else is coming up? We're gonna have Kathy from uh, Accounts. She's gonna be coming in doing the Porn Star Martini Challenge, and her favorite cocktail that I'm gonna show you uh, her and you guys how to make us a sex on the beach but I've got a little bit of bonus as well because uh, there's what five six ingredients I forget what it is now five six ingredients in the old uh, sex on the beach and I'm going to show you loads of other cocktails very quick simple cocktails you can make with those six ingredients so that is what is coming up in store uh, as always uh, Rob hey Rob good morning <laughs> over in Canadian land. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, drop them in the old comments and we'll try and get to them. Instagram's a bit harder for me to see the uh, comments, but I will try. Um, but yes, so first things first, be rude not to, wouldn't it? Where's my little shot glass? Tequila. This is a brand spanking new tequila. Uh, I won't lie, it's not, it's not cheap, but it's quality. We've already, we've already had a little sample in the old office. It's right, really nice sort of sipping tequila. Hasn't got the um, 
hasn't got the feisty sort of tequila notes that you kind of expect uh, from like a cheaper brand. This is proper smooth. And I did a tequila old fashioned a couple of weeks ago. I think this is going to be amazing with that. So uh, for, I'm going to make up a classic margarita for Laura. Uh, so that's the first thing we do. We'll do a bit of tequila love with that. And then I'll do some melon cocktails. Uh, who else are we coming in? Tim, Timmy K, hey K. Timmy K and K, hey K. Uh, hey Megan on Facebook. Who else have we got to say hello to? You guys are making drinks. I'm having a coffee. Well, that's a bit silly, isn't it, Rob? You need to get on espresso martinis. There we go. So, uh, first, I'm just going to do a diddly, diddly little margarita for Laura, but we're going to do it properly. We've got, we've got loads of booze. We've got loads of booze in the house now as well, so this is really good. So, standard, standard tequila before we get, uh, standard margarita before we get into the old uh, melon cocktails. I'm just going to make her a little diddy one. So, I'm going to do uh, a 25 mil of tequila. Lovely. I've got I've got a little bit of uh, Laura's printing me off the blurb as well. I've got a little bit of little bit of stuff in it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it out. The thing the thing it caught my eye though. It says uh, look a little. I'll show you on Instagram in a minute. Look, it says no celebrities. That's his marketing buff. No celebrities involved. <laughs> Joking. There's no rocks. There's no who else has done his uh, tequila. I forget. Uh, so we've got some tequila. We have got some. I'm going to use Cointreau. I've been saying the orange too, so I forgot. Uh, I've got Cointreau anyway. I could do half a, half a shot of Cointreau. Uh, I didn't ask Laura whether she likes it standard or with agave. I can sweeten it up anyway. So uh, we're going to do some lime juice. Where's my limes? I've got some pre done. There we go. Juice of half a, get in there. Juice of half a lime. Squeeze that in there. Bit in the, eye, bit in the old eyeballs. That'll do, it's just a little diddy one. Shake that down, oh I didn't give him, give him a lid off the ice, did I? Right. Let's see what this, I'm not gonna drink out of that, I'm gonna pour it separately, don't panic, don't get all COVID on me, it's absolutely fine. Right, good old shake. Let's, let's, is that, there we go, we can see that bit better. You can't see it on the old Instagram, sorry, there we go, there we go, right. That's what we're making. Tempo. Right. Uh, let's let's pour that in there so Stevie can have a little bit of tequila. Uh, oh, now I've got all these Hawthorne strainers here. Which one do I use? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that one for now. And a little fine strainer. Right, a little bit, a little bit for Stevie. There we go. And the rest for Laura. Right, there we go. Little diddy, little diddy margarita. She won't come on camera, but Laura, if you do want it, uh, I'll, I'll pass it to you, don't worry. So what's this like, it's a little margarita. There's no agave, there's no sweetener in here. That's a bit dangerous. That's what I mean. It's no feisty bite to it. It's just easy to drink, which I'm not sure is a good thing. <laughs> Oh, that's quite tasty. <coughs> Wrong old. <coughs> I can hear the door. Here she comes. She won't. She won't come on camera. Oh look, right oh, look tattoo. What's the tattoo? Show the show the world the tattoo. Oh, you yeah, can. It's really awkward. I don't know which tattoo. <laughs> you can. What's the tattoo? It was a swallow, and then it's Lord of the Rings. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's no sweetener, so I don't know whether you have a garfield or not. Take what you're giving. Take what you're giving. There we go. Give us a, have a little sip and go, ooh, or, or, ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There we go. There we go, Tiempo, guys. It's good. The big royal seal of approval. So. I was just going to say, it's back to my desk. Goodbye. <laughs> right, so, uh, let's crack on with some melon cocktails. That's what I promised. Hey, Kevin, listening in, uh, probably event-wise. Uh, Dan, need to, need to get you a sombrero. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Oh, there's questions. I'm missing stuff here. What's going on? Scroll back, scroll back. It's 9, 9 a.m. That's a bit of a silly time, isn't it? 9 a.m. Right. Uh, I do have a bar shelf. What's Rob saying? I do have a bar shelf above my desk. Oh, well, there we go then. Yeah. None, none of that sort of Petey, Eiley, Eiley stuff, though. No, no. Right. Uh, Peter how Scott these days. Bank holidays on the juice. He's probably on the juice, to be fair. I don't know. He's not in today. <laughs> uh, Kevin, listening in. Rob, melon, you say. Right, Sunday, Kevin. 
Righty ho. So, let's go. That, that's, that's, I really like that. Let's put that to one side. So, melon cocktails. I say this video coming out. Oh, let's get rid of that. Hide. Rachel. Oh, look out. Rachel and Kevin. Rachel, on the TV at home, the boys are now confused. Hello, Sam. Hello, James. How are you? James, tequila. Ask Dad for some tequila. It's all right. You're old enough. It's fine. Shh. Um, so, tequila. <laughs> Sam, J James, you can still watch me on Sundays. Don't worry. Don't get all confused. It's all right. It's still school holidays. You can still drink in the school holidays. You're fine. Right. So, uh, as I say, there's a video coming out, uh, not next week, the week after. Uh, where I've done three, I've gone back to doing some ODK. I've got a load of ODK stuff to get through, so we'll get we'll start rocking out some ODK purees. I really do like, I love the morning stuff. I love them all, to be fair. I can't really split them. Uh, the big difference between these and, let's just grab that one, and, and those is uh, higher higher sugar content in them. Uh, so these are traditionally 50% sugar, 50% fruit. These will be roughly about 30% fruit, 70% sugar. However, uh, use once opened, they've both got 18 months, two years on them, whatever, more than that. Uh, but once opened, Monin say use within four weeks, a month uh, of that one, uh, whereas once opened, use within three months. And uh, I have got my own personal opinions. You can contact me directly for my own personal opinions. I'm not going to say them on this channel. I'll say it quite happily on my channel, but I won't say it on this channel. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, don't get too much into use bias and that. This, that's the only difference. There's more sugar, which means it keeps longer. So, uh, we do love them. They pop a flavour. They are brilliant for pubs, for bars, for home bars, because you're obviously not going to get through that in a weekend, are you? You're not going to be doing lots and lots of melon cocktails. So, for lower volume pubs, bars, home parties, all that sort of stuff, these and the morning stuff are really, really good. So, Loads of flavours as well. I don't know what's in stock at the moment. There's obviously Brexit and COVID and supplier issues and God knows what's going on. But yes. So first off, melon margarita. So this will be, I'm going to do this a riff on like the Tommy's margarita. Instead of the agave, I'm going to be using melon in that. So we're going to do very, very sim similar to what I've just done, uh, except I'm going uh, Tommy style over ice uh, and that's going to be the sweetener. So questions, questions, questions. Hello, Ashley. How is it up in uh, Newcastle? Oh, oh, hey, the lads. I know, I know. Don't get upset, Ash. Don't get upset. Right, so I'm just doing a little diddy one. So normally a double bubble of tequila. We're going to be doing... So normally I do 25 mil of uh, melon, but... Oh, here we go, Instagram. Sorry. Sorry, old oh, gram. There we go. Uh, so normally I do 25 mil, but I'm just going to do half. I'm just going to do 15 mil. The big difference, I know, I have say it loads and loads, but I know we get different viewers each week. I say it loads and loads. The big difference between something like that and, what should we go, ignore the flavour, but something like that, these will be thicker. They'll give you more texture. Uh, so they've got roughly the same use by on what's opened, or better, um, so good three months on them. But these will give you thicker cocktails because they're purees. There's more fruit content in them than these, okay? Similar, but just different. So, that you know, there's no right or wrong. Whatever you fancy using. Uh, need another lime. I've got another lime in, ready to go. Squeeze that in. And I might, yeah, I'm going to do, I'll do a little bit of Cointreau to go with it as well. Or, um, uh, what do we call it? Uh, Curacao or Grand Marnier. Just some decent sort of orange liqueur. So I'm going to go a little bit of Cointreau. Uh, and as I did, so normally I'll do a double bubble of tequila, um, half a shot of uh, Cointreau and then um, a shot of that. I'm just going to do a quarter. I'm going to do 7.5 mil of that. There we go. There we go. So plenty of ice. Uh, there we go. It's getting me all confused, isn't it? It's getting me all confused. Uh, that'll do. Same ice. <laughs> Everyone's thinking of what's he laughing at? <laughs> Right. Let's do a, a dirty dump. There we go. Dirty dump. There's loads of ice in there. That is, where's my straw? That is my, my personal stainless steel recyclable straw. Oh, I tell you, I love that. That's more, I don't know what melon is supposed to be. Oh, um, 
uh, uh, Galia Mellon. It's not Cantaloupe, is it? No, what's that? What's that? People home, comment. Which melon's that? Let me know in the comments. I saw, I tell you what I saw the other day. I'd never heard of it. A snowball melon. What's a snowball melon? Where's that come from? What's it taste like? It's white uh, and it's big. I don't know. But what's that? Cantaloupe or, or Galia Mellon? What's that? Let me know, let me know in the comments. Come on, I'm expecting Kevin to like, Kevin's like sitting there at home going, I don't know, I don't know, but I wish I was on there because I know everything. Come on, Kevin. Dun, dun, dun. Cantaloupe. Is that a cantaloupe? Are you, are you sure, Tim? Are you sure that's not different in America? Are you sure it's not the opposite way around? You and your aluminums and what else? I really like that. That's a good one. Claire around melon. <laughs> Oh, you lot make me laugh. Who's this? Tox, toxic, toxic gamer, cantaloupe. Thank you very much. I don't know what a round melon is. Yes. Uh, next question, what's a snowball melon? Where, where did that just pop up? What's a snowball melon? So that's cocktail number one. This one's gonna be a bit crazy for you. I need to uh, dump some ice. There we go. We are gonna be doing, this is a crazy little creation. Crazy, crazy little creation in this next one. Uh, there's no name for it. We are going to be using, obviously, that and that. Is that on the old Instagram? Yeah, you can see that. You can't. There you go, Instagram. We have to do that for YouTube and Facebook, though. Um, tequila, uh, melon. We've got a little bit of old cucumber. Fresh, not, not old, but fresh cucumber. Uh, lemon. I've got lemon that I've pre-chopped there. And there's one more ingredient missing, mint. I've got some mint that I need to uh, strip. I haven't done that yet. So we've got a little, little bit of mint. Don't need that much mint. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be a little martini served. It needs a name, you know me. I'm not brilliant at naming cocktails. So, uh, let's go straight in there. We are gonna do, I'm just gonna do little baby ones again. There's no point wasting tequila, is there? Especially, there's hardly anyone in the office today. And no one's going, I've got to draw, I can't, can't drink. Um, so, we're gonna do a single shot instead of a double bubble. In there. We're going to be doing a little bit of cucumber. Uh, that's what I'd use for a proper full size one. So I'm going to use half of that instead. Uh, let's chop that, chop that, chop that. And that'll do. So we'll do that. We need a bit of muddling. Where's my muddler? There it is. Uh, so we're just going to break down that cucumber, get a nice kind of. Uh, Fruits like this, I tend to use the alcohol. Uh, citrus I use for softer fruits, but alcohol um, for hard, slightly harder ones like this, I use um, the alcohol to kind of break it down a little bit. Mix those will probably tell you different. I'll probably go, you need a bit of sugar or something. For me, it works. It's turned into nice kind of puree. That's what we want. Right. Lovely. So this will be quite refreshing, this one. Uh, the Mexic, what's Tim saying? The Mexi, me Mexi melon smash. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of is loosely a smash. Yeah, we can. I'll go, on. Take, I'll go with that one. I'll go with that one. Right. Uh, I don't want, I'd normally use a whole half a lemon in this. I'm just going to go easy with my old, because I don't want it all. I want about that. About, about a quarter. <laughs> we can use that a bit later. So a bit of that. And again, normally I would do a whole 25 mil of the melon, but this I'm just gonna do a half a shot of that, so 15 mil. Um, tequila, melon, I forgot my mint, didn't I? Right, let's get some decent mint leaves. Those ones there will do, one, two, and that one, and a few for the floor, obviously, because the floor was feeling a bit left out. So a few for the floor. <laughs> Put these away, right. Uh, so I've got what? I'll do, I'll do a few more, one, two, three, four, it's about six, about six or seven, spank that, pop that in. Tim has christened this the Mexi Melon. There we go, we like that, we like that. Right, uh, shaky, shaky, uh, and this I'll serve up in that. Sorry, tequila. That and that. Let's go all fancy. Let's go. Let's go all pop. Let's go all posh, shall we? If I can get it, there we go. Look, I've got skills. You never lose it. Look, you never lose it. Dun, 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 dun. 
Look at that. I think this one would work quite well with gin as well. I think this would be a good gin cucumber. I think that would be a good one. Right. There we go. Need to wash that out. Uh, if someone's in the office watching this, uh, again, I will put, oh, look out. The door's open now. Look, as if by magic. As if by magic. Look, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't tried this. This is Izzy, look, she loves it. She loves coming on camera. I want to come in, I want to come in. I didn't make a cocktail. Izzy, what have you been doing this week? Uh, social media bits this week. Oh, that's a bit dangerous. Mm. That's really good. Oh, that's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Um, Laura said that her margarita needed a salt rim. No, you don't faff around with salt rims. Why? Because, why? Why would you? That's, you know. I quite like a salt rim. Oh, Not all the time, but it has to be half a glass, so then you can come back. Yeah, I've got work to do, so I'll best, best advice. Thanks. Take that out as well if someone wants that. That is good. If someone wants that. So, what are we calling that? The Mexi Melon. What did Tim call it? I've lost it. The Mexi Melon. There we go. Lovely yeah. jubbly. Right, there's that. I need to... Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, that was it. In case you haven't met her before, that was Izzy. She was on week one. She did the Porn Star Martini Challenge in week one. Uh, right, where are we going? Back to the old comments. Uh, Tim... <coughs> Into the garbage. <laughs> Tim, have, Tim, have you kind of progressed on for vodka yet? If you come to join us in the real world with uh, like rum and tequila and things like that, hey? Uh, so I've got another car. I've got a, like a, a melon. The tequila's going away now. We've had enough of the tequila. We've got vodka coming out to play uh, in this next one. Uh, I just need to do a little, little quick wash up and rinse. That's why we need some interlude music for this one. That's the only trouble with using meat and cucumber in cocktails, it gets everywhere. Right, there we go. I need to do that. Lovely. Right, so this one, uh, again, this is just a, a highball, no name for it. I was, um, that's the only ginger because I like it so much. I haven't got normal ginger ale at home now, so I've just got the orange ginger ale. I think this might be a little bit better with normal ginger ale, but we've got plain orange there. Uh, and I want um, some more lime. There we go. So I've got a simple four ingredient highball. Melon, vodka, lime and uh, ginger ale. Really, really simple this one. I don't think I even need to shake it. I'm just going to make it straight in the old glass. Give it a stir. Job is a good one. Again, I will... I haven't got any smaller glasses, no. Let's use this one instead. Slightly, slightly smaller. I'm doing little ones because people are driving. Let's do that. Uh, so I don't want that. I want about half of that. I've just squeezed that in actually. Uh, so for this, normally I do half a lemon, half a, lemon, half a lime. Uh, but again, because we're doing smaller ones, I do uh, a quarter of a lime instead. Squeeze that in, lovely jubbly. We'll do a little bit of vodka. Rob, that's the best. Can you get that in Canada? Rob, 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 can you, oh, you'll love that. Can, Rob, can you get the smoky ginger ale in Canada? Is FIFA Tree brought that over to you? This way, they've, had, they've had three different ginger ales for years and years and years, but it kind of went away and now it's come back again. So I, if you haven't, look out for the smoky one because that'll be awesome. You will proper love that. You and your smoky, pinky stuff. So I've done a single, but a double bubble of vodka, um, quarter of a lime, normally half a lime. Again, we'll do half of this. Normally I'll do 25 mil. So there we go. Uh, 15 mil of that. We shall do a bit of ice, 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 ice. Excuse. There we go. That'll do. Let's pop that back there for two seconds. I've done my prepping. Oh, I've got bottle openers in everything. Is anyone saying anything on the old gram? No, it's all right. No. Right. Uh, I'm probably, I'm going to use nearly, I'll use half of it. There we go. Need a stir. I've even brought one of my bar spoons in from home because I, I like the little teardrops. They've all, all the bar spoons here, they've all they've got these little disc things in them. I don't know, I feel, all, I feel all wrong using them. I like my little teardrops. So there we go. They're more, they're more balanced. It means you could do that properly. Way. You sold me at Christmas using the spicy orange ginger ale in a snowball. Ah, oh, snowball time, innit? Right, uh, another ice cube, where's it going? 
and touch, touch more, not much more. We'd fill it up normally if we had if we had bigger measures. What's this taste like? This needs a name as well. Melon, ginger, there we go. Oh, that's the best one yet. That is the best one yet. Oh, Jesus, if you run a pub, put that on your menu. That's simple. Vodka, lime, ginger, melon. So it's a meal. It's a, like a melon, a melon meal, isn't it? Of course it is. A melony, I, I, I quite like that with the orange ginger ale, actually. If anyone wants that one, that is yours in the, in the old office. I don't know how many people are watching in the office, but there we go. Uh, and I've got one more. I've got a crazy one. I've got a crazy one coming up now. Uh, and I have, this might be up some people's, many people's there. The Mules, Tim, the Mules Melon. Yes, Timmy K. So, if you go, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the lay of the land is in the US in, uh, compared to Canada, but, uh, so, uh, Tim, I'm assuming you've seen that, Tim. You must have seen that. That's the spiced orange ginger ale. Where's the light? That's the spiced orange ginger ale. That is, uh, oh, look out, the door's gone again. Who's this? Oh, Julie. Julie. She's not scared. She's coming, she's coming on. Next, no, next week, week, week after, after, there we go. That's, that's vodka. Oh, you clearly taste the melon in there. Oh, you like that, do you? I like that. Oh, mm. big fan. That's good, big fan of that. See, they all love my cocktails in here. It's good, isn't it? It's good fun. Um, yeah, so, sorry, Tim. Um, they've got the, um, the spiced orange one, which I think is their best mixer by Milli Milli Waves. And uh, chat to Kevin as well, because Kevin will back me up here. But the full fat one, don't faff around with the refreshingly light stuff. I ignore the refreshingly light. Go for the full fat. The full fat stuff is proper. The refreshingly light stuff is just, it's just pointless. It's just, they take away the taste and there's nothing to it. So you want the full fat stuff. But to complement that, they did. They launched, and bear in mind, these were probably launched in 2000 and, see, where are we, 16, 17? And where are we now? I'm going to take a stab at sort of roughly about 2016, 2017. Again, they were way before their time um, because we hadn't read the rum and, you know, the tequilas all read, hadn't really kicked off. So they kind of loosely kept them in the background and then they did a massive push on them again at the tail end of 2019. So they've started to come out again. But a smoky one uh, is, is quite, even I kind of like that. I'm not a huge smoky fan, but I do kind of like that. It's, it's quite nice. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what the lay of the land is over your way. I know Fever Tree uh, import most of their flavours over to you guys, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right, where do we get to? Uh, but, but, but I've got to stop saying. Uh, melon sounds like a toxic chemical. Canada's got 90% of the Fever Tree. That's awesome. There's only a few of the fancy tonics I haven't seen. Go and find it today. Do that, Tim. Do that, Tim. Right. So this one, I'm going to do a little spritz. Very, very simple. Uh, I'm not going to use like an Aperol or a Campari or anything like that. You could do if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to do this. Very, 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 very simple. Three ingredient spritz. Gin, uh, Prosecco, melon. Jobs are good. Suze might be a good one. S-U-Z-E might be a great one for this because you kind of get the, um, without it turning the, the drink sort of orangey colour because it's Suze is sort of yellowy, yellow to clear-ish. So that'll be a good one. Uh, but we'll do we'll do a tiny, tiny little one. Uh, so again, we're going to do a 15, 15 mil instead of a 25 mil because we're making little ones. And this this should be a banger for um, pubs and that. Uh, we'll do a 25 mil of this instead of... Oh, Beefy, have changed the little balls, haven't they? They've gone all square. What's going on there? Haven't, old, haven't held a new bottle of Beefy for over a year. Cool. I kind of like that, it's gone all posh. So 25 mil instead of 50 mil. Uh, and then I'm gonna do, actually let's get a bit, of, a bit of ice cubes. That'll do, and then we've got some Prosecco, Prosecco, fake, proper, proper Prosecco. Just gonna do a little, little, tiny, tiny bit of Prosecco. Imagine, imagine they're bigger measures and you've got a full glass. Give that a little stir. It's 
what it's the one thing I do, you know, a big shout out for the ODK ones above anything else. And Real, to be fair, but a big shout out to the ODK ones. They because they're not as thick as the money ones, they are quite easy to stir into cocktails. They will um I was gonna say dissolve, that's not the word. <laughs> they will mix in quite well into cocktails without shaking. Uh, so I kind of need to do one for little stick one for little Stevie. Oh, that's, um, that's got the bitter kind of notes coming to it from the gym. That has, I quite like that. That's not, um, it's not sweet forward like the last one. That's kind of just sort of, you know, gin, Prosecco, slight, some of you might want a little bit more melon in there or uh, touch that. But that's what spritz is all about. Spritz is a kind of not like, dull of back sweetness. Question. Hello. Hello, it's Huffy. I'll see you that in a second. Sure, if I'd had anything to that at all, I've, I've made a flavour gin maybe. I'm trying to think, melon. The uh, Whitley Neal watermelon. What is it? What? Not watermelon. What's the orange one? Man no, mango and lime. The other one, watermelon and kiwi. That would be really good with that. Kevin and Rachel. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's good. That's going to a good home if anyone wants that next door. Oh, yeah, I do like that, actually. That's, there's something about spritzes. Because they're not sweet, you can kind of have a couple of them without getting that kind of back in the back of your throat. So there we go. There's uh, one, two, three, four. There's four, four more melon cocktails for you. As I say, the video will come out uh, a week on Wednesday. So you've got another, where are we? 10, 12, 15 days. Not 15, I don't know. 13 days, 12 days. Uh, before that comes out, so look out for that. But that's a good one. You know, we don't often use melon. It's the same in the video. Melon, you got watermelon. Fair enough. It does get a little bit of action. But melon, normal melon. Ah, oh, hello. hello. Oh, look, she's done her hair and everything. Are you coming on camera? Yeah. Oh, look out. Hello. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Who are you? I'm Lydia. What do you do, Lydia? I'm a buying administrator, so I get to spend someone else's money for a living. Yes. I'm guessing. Quite what do you normally drink? Uh, well, you need to come rum. on and do a Friday show. Why do you yeah. not come forward? Because normally someone beats me to it. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, that's all right. We'll get you on I a few minutes' time. I ran down the office this time. Oh, it's fine. Anyway. It's fine. Anyway. Uh, so what do you normally drink? Uh, I normally drink rum. Mm. Yeah, I like rum. Any rum. She could be my favourite. Yeah. Any rum. Yeah, dark spice. Have you seen my back bar? Seen my bar? No. You need to show me. I'll show you later. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll get you on. We'll do the Porn Star yeah. Martini Challenge. We'll get our rum. We yeah. can have a whole fun show with rum. Rum yeah. cocktails. Because I get... Whatever your favourite cocktails, we'll show you yeah. how to make it after the porn star. Yeah. Yes. Have a little Count sip. Do you like it? It's gin, so it's not rum. Mm, it's nice. It's all right. Fruity. Fruity. Mm. Yeah. Fruity, bubbly. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Rum, rum. Proper, that's what we're talking about. Come on, drink stuff, the rest of you. Don't be shy. There we go. So that was uh, that was Lydia. There we go. That's awesome. So that's another volunteer. So we've got one, two. I've got uh, Kathy coming on today. We've got Paul. We've got the boss man. Boss man coming on next week. We've got Julie, who's been in today, coming on the week after. We'll get lids on uh, in, I don't know, four weeks' time. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. Uh, birthday boy! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You'll have all the staff during walking home. <laughs> Uh, have a good day in, where are we going? Scarborough, Scunthorpe? I forget where we're going. Right, let's go back to uh, It's it's Huffy. How much does the ODK real t retail for? It all depends on your, because I say one thing and then other people go, it's not that cheap. Trade accounts or normal accounts, you'll be looking roughly between, I don't know. <laughs> you'll, I'm just going to say ballpark £7 to £10. I think they are, there's some prices different depending on the flavour. Um, some will be cheaper. I think, for a funny feeling, I think like the passion fruit and the coconut is cheaper than the other ones. Don't don't hold me to that. They'll be roughly about six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds, depending on the flavour. And as I say, they are seven fifties, seven fifty mil, uh, which is what thirty. If you're doing twenty five mils, which you should never need to do more than than that, I think you're very much doubt you ever use fifty mil in a cocktail unless you've got a really really sweet tooth. So if you're doing twenty five mil cocktails. Uh, you're obviously going to have 30, 30 cocktails out of that, uh, which is an absolute bargain. And you've got three months. I mean, this this is brand spanking you. 
Um, so this is July 2023. Okay, that's when that goes out of date. Um, so yeah, I've just opened it. So I've got I've got three months from when do I film Tuesday? Three months from Tuesday to use this. So you know, I I think they are perfect. I th I really do, and they're they're cool. They're like squeezy bottles as well. And you know, well, it's not. And that comes off. You know, so you can wash. Wait, so you can wash the caps out and do all that as well. So you know, they they're pretty they're pretty good. I, I do kind of, kind of rate the ODK ones. A design floor against like the whole Monint, they are, I love them, I, lo I absolutely love them, but they're kind of a little bit, they're not as pliable, and you get, because they're thicker, you get more left in the bottle. So but you get a long knickerbocker glory spoon out, and you can kind of spoon out the, t um, the flavours out there, can't you? There we go. So I hope that helped. It's, it's huffy, I like that, it's huffy. Right, uh, where do we go to in the comments? Tim, what are you saying, Super Sour? I haven't cracked out the Super Sour. I need to crack out the Super Sour again. Uh, they are great, Claire. They're great in milkshakes as well. We like that. What flavour milkshake? Strawberry. Oh, yeah, strawberry. Strawberry. Uh, I will. It was you, wasn't it, Claire? I'm sure it was you. Um, I've got, I've pulled that to the front. So we're going to do that next. I'm sure it was you that asked for that in the comments. So we will do that one next. But that won't obviously be out now in two, three weeks' time. Right, what's the time? I reckon it's time to get Kathy in. Uh, and start the porn star martini challenge. We will do. I'll do the little bit. On, I'm not going to make all the sort of other sex on the beach riffs. So I'll talk you through the other sex on the beach cocktails. But then we will have uh, the old Hawthorne um, challenge in a bit, uh, which could be quite funny. All right. Because so, because I did have a little rant. So stay tuned for rant mode in this. I'm going to put on cherry, 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 cherry milk. Oh, nice. I am going to put that on, just so. Which one is it? Uh, it's got to be that one, isn't it? Uh, and oh, the door is opened. It's me. It's you. It's me. Kathy's on a call. She's on a call. I can feel she's on a call, people. She's on a. I tell you what we'll do. Busy in drink stuff. I, I tell you what we'll do. We will. We will hold that for. I'll grab her. Uh, no, I'll, I'll do the Hawthorns now. Right. Okay. There we go. See, thinking on his feet, he's professional, isn't he? James Martin. You know, James Martin's got nothing on me, is he? You know, James does it with food. I do it with booze. It's more fun. Right. So the Hawthorn challenge. I had, um, I will say a little rant. I had a major rant. Uh, actually, I'll use those instead of ice. That could be cool. I had a major rant about Hawthorne strainers not so long ago because I was getting fed up with leaky Hawthorne strainers uh, and posh Hawthorne strainers. Where's my, oh, I've done it. Oh, I've washed them. There they are. So I have got, let, let me just show you the runners and the riders. Hawthorne, let me go back to the old chat. Let me, let me see the chat. There we go. That's better. Right. I've got loads and loads of Hawthorne strainers here. The whole world has gone nuts for Hawthorne strainers. Um, we've got Bonza ones there. I've kind of loosely put them in four categories, I think. So there we go. We've got these Hawthorne strainers. <laughs> Who knew there were so many Hawthorne strainers? And I've got these ones here. Now, what prompted the rant was this thing here. This, this one here. This inoffensive Hawthorne strainer really prompted me to go on a little rant, and um, I'll show you why. Because I, I might need some ice cream to demonstrate this properly. I'm just going to use water. I'm not going to be shaking up cocktails or anything like that. So we've got water. Pretend that is your normal, normal cocktail. Okay, so on there, you're giving it a good old shake. La -di -da -di -da. Give it a good old shake. You get your Hawthorne strainer out, and they, you know it's not. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive either. But they, you know, they're kind of cool. And we've got, you know, I've even got a whole flipping box there of even more Hawthorne strainers. That's how many we've got. But I was quite happily using that. And they've got, you see that little. Let's get that uh, so it's not behind my head. You see that? Hang on. There we go. You see that little? There we go. That little rivet thing there. The whole point of that is that's supposed to sit there. Now. Let me demonstrate what happens. This point won't happen now. You've got your fingers there. It won't. Oh, it's not going to happen now. What happened to me was basically I had my finger there and I just went like that. Oh, there we go. Look. And the ice pushes out like that. You've got no physical control over that bit there. No matter how, big, how strong your finger guns are, you cannot stop that from essentially tipping out like that it'll just come out 
It's the most stupid design Hawthorne strainer I've ever seen. It's pathetic. So I went on a whole rant about that. And then I've been using, ever since I've been in here, and I've got access to lots of other Hawthorne strainers, I found out there's some other design flaws going on. So we all discount, I think that's Mezclar or something like that, which is a bit annoying, so that's the, where's my jigger? I've lost my, there it is, that's a Mezclar. I really love them for their jiggers. That's, that's my go-to jigger, I really love that. But they're, you know, that, that little bit there is pointless. So, and I'm sorry, I know drink stuff sell this, but you know, I'm here. There we go. Next up, we come to this. This looks, uh, this looks all right. <laughs> Seriously, this, you know, this again, it's not a cheap one. Seriously, you can't, it does fit. You have to kind of manipulate it in a little bit. And bear in mind, these are standard flipping Boston shakers. You know, they're not small ones, they're standard. The one thing it does kind of fit well on, and we'll give it that, but are you really gonna buy a Hawthorne strainer Especially for your, when well, I say it fits in there, but you still have to faff around with that, even though I thought it was bigger than that. Yeah, similar. But yeah, are you going to faff around with that? So you are wasting your money on that one as well. Once you've got it in, you faffed around and got it in. Does it, does it pour nice? I have to come out of the way so you can kind of see it. Does it pour nice? It pours all right, but if it's any fuller than that, it'll kind of come out the sides a little bit. So this is where the test is going. I wanna, I wanna see the cleanest pours. So again, that, it's just pointless. My Hawthorne strainers, what I really like, and it's very, very similar to one I use at home. I like them without prongs. Uh, so any of these, uh, because these give you the ultimate, for me, the ultimate in um, pouring, in um, control, that's the word. Because they'll sit in the shaker like that, they'll go there, because there's no lip there, you've got awesome uh, control, it's not going to tip anywhere, and because there's no thing there to stop it, it just means the liquid is just going to sort of flow out the, the bottom edge of your tin. So you've got a proper, proper pour. And that's why I love the ones without prongs in them, because they sit nicely way down in there, they keep all the ice to the bottom, and you just pour. There's no little bits dribbling out the sides, they're just perfect for that. So all these are cool. There is one caveat though. Uh, this is a slightly different one, I'll hold this up. Can you see that shape there? This has got two, this will fit inside quite, quite nicely, it will go inside, but it also, because of this, it also sits on top. Now I don't know whether it will do it again, if it sits on top, can you see that look? It's got little bits coming out the side. We've got little dribbles down the side, of, down the side there on the bar runner. You're going to lose a bit of curl. So again, perfect if you have it inside. But I've got a sneaky suspicion because of the design, it's meant to sit on top. I've got a sneaky suspicion it's, it's classed as a pronged Hawthorne strainer. So it sits on top. When we're pouring like that, See, it's not a clean pour, it just comes out the sides. So again, use it as internal, don't use it as a pronged. Right. So any of these, and I know they are a bit more expensive, you're talking 15, 20, 25 pounds for some of these, uh, but I do love them. Uh, I don't have any faff with them. What they save me, what they cost me, will probably save me in booze or cocktails or drippages, whatever. So we kind of like them. Now, let's move on to, I've got two types of bonzer ones here. They're both bonzer, um, quite short and stumpy in there. One's got little prongs on it. Sorry, Instagram, I'm forgetting about you. One's got little prongs in it, one hasn't. So let's start with the one, the other little thing, I don't know whether you realise this as well. I'm getting knowledge bombs here. You see this little bit, where we go? See this little bit here, can we see that? What that's designed to do is that's where your finger rests and you can kind of push it, there we go. You can push it there, so you get more accuracy. So, pronged one. Bonza, pronged. It's quite a nice pour. We kind of like that. There's nothing offensive about that. I do need to fill this up a bit more nice. All these supplies, I hate and drink stuff because I'm slagging them off. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. Just being honest. <laughs> so, and if you pour, if you push that down, that's the, only, that's the only drama. When you push it down and you've got a full Boston, 
you, cut, you do get little bits coming out the side there as well. So not perfect design, but pretty good. Now, we come to this one without the prongs. Another bonzer. So this again will sit inside. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing I will say about the length of the handle does make me feel a little bit insecure. It's not as well balanced as that, where you know full well that you've got all this coming out the top there. This still makes me feel a little bit nervous holding it, but you'll have a very clean pour on it. So I kind of like the bronzers. They're not perfect, but they are pretty damn good. All right? they're, better, they're better than these two. Whoever makes these two, they're better than these two. So we like the bronzers. Right, uh, let's get into the, the cheap ones. These are the two cheap ones. These are what all my hen party masterclasses have used over the last sort of five, six, seven, eight, nine years, uh, these ones. These do the job quite well. They're, they're like a pound. They're literally like a pound. Uh, two piece, uh, two prong strainer. Again, you've got your little finger there. You hold it up there. Nice clean pour. Does the job very, very well. You push, you push the strainer down, so um, so that is kind of right at the bottom. That's when you start to get little issues. You start to get a little, little bits of drips coming out the sides. The only downside to these is the, is the coil. The coil is very, very loose. I th Do you know what, right? I think the ultimate Hawthorne strainer would be this with a tighter coil on it. And as I say, these are cheap as flipping chips. If that had the coil of something like that on it, cheaper chip, because that's gonna stop little bits of fruit as well, whereas that's just gonna stop large chunks of ice. Even the tiny little shards of ice are gonna get through that. That's the only issue I've got with that. Um, so that's that one, and then we've got the, the cheapest chips, four prong strainer again. Again, it's, it's identical to this. It, it's just four pronged instead of two pronged. If you don't, if you don't push this down, like right down there, if you hold it sort of in the middle, you've got a nice clean pour. So for literally like one pound 69 or, or whatever they are, these will do the job very, very well. I would just love a tighter coil on it. So perfect. Right, let's get on to these two. Uh, I don't know who makes this one, but we've got a, lo a lovely tiki one there. And this one's called Mercer. I don't know who makes these. Virtually identical, sort of, the slight design. Nice tight coils, which is what we like. Um, we've, got, we've got a nice chunky bit there on top there, this bit here where you can push down. Getting all geeky over Hawthorne strainers. What's the pour like? Terrible. Terrible pour. Let's, put, let's do that again. And that's not me trying to, that's just a, a normal pour. Look, look at the spillage coming off the back there, off the side. I've got a whole little puddle down here now. So that, for me, is just something about, I think it might be those little bits there. It's just something not great about the design of that. Uh, so I'm not happy with that one. <laughs> Gonna get sued. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps in hindsight, this wasn't the best. No, you guys, you guys want to hear it real, don't you? You want to hear it real. Right, this one, uh, we've got, as I say, slightly wider, and we've got little holes in there instead of instead of lines this time. See, we like that. Right. Again, we've got, we've got, do you see this? And that's not me, that's just an average pour. That's not me trying to do anything. Let's do that again. Can you, can you see the, I think you can, yeah. Again, it's, it's all right, it's, it's just, when you, when you start off with, you've just got a tiny, so we're just holding it there. It's all right, it's all right, but it can be, you know, you saw it first time around, there was a little bit of, pretty good, just go careful. They're still not as, Christ, you could, you, could, you could pour pretty damn quickly with those. They're still not those, yeah? Right, what else have we got? Uh, this one I kind of like. So I've got two left. Two left to show you. Two more posh ones. Right, so I've got this kind of, this is like a, a posh pronged one. So it's kind of very, very similar to these, but it's just got a prong on it. 
Uh, again, it's very tight on there. So it's, it's kind of close, but it's very, very tight. You have to really manipulate it in. Pour-wise, I can't do anything with it. It's a very good pour on it though, we do like that. Okay, and again. Yeah, see, that's that's a proper pour. Because, because this is a nice gap all the way around the, the edge of the, uh, the tin, that just comes out of there properly. So we've got a nice pour on that one. This one. This is my last one, I do believe. It's an uh, awesome coil on it. We love the coil. Probably the best coil in here. Well, I kind of like that one as well. That's, that's a really cool coil. Uh, but possibly one of the best coils. It's a pronged one. It sits nicely on top. Oh, dear. <laughs> Seriously, why, 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 why? <laughs> right, again, standard cocktail, standard sort of highball cocktail. <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> third, third time lucky. Oops, wrong way. Third time lucky. Again, again, right, again. Right, ready, steady. <laughs> And I've got a funny feeling this is the most expensive one out of the lot. <laughs> no, look, seriously, in all seriousness, um, look, I'm an event bartender, I'm a speed merchant. I don't, I'm not one of these pretty bartenders that will take like 15 minutes to make a cocktail. I'm all about making the same cocktail over and over again, getting it out there. I want speed. That thing is not built for me. All right, it might be built for the like the Japanese craft style of bartending, you know, where everything's precise. Um, but yeah, that's not really me. But put that spring on that, and you've, you've almost got the, like the perfect. Oh. I've got to be careful because my microphone's down here, and I've got a little puddle. You know, put put that put that thicker spring, tighter spring on that. You've got like the perfect for like one pound, whatever they are. Probably, I'm saying. I know trade prices, but probably closer to two pound, three pound ish. All right. So there we go. That's my Hawthorne strainer rant. All right, here we go. Hang on. Here we go. I've got questions. I've not been paying attention to this. Uh, in my opinion, what's what's Timmy saying? In my opinion, words that can save you. In my opinion, <laughs> look, they don't. They look. They don't care. Drink stuff. Well, they might care. I might, I might get a lawsuit, but there we go. I'm just, I just want to keep it real. You know, I don't want you guys to buy these things and go, oh, well, you know, what's going on here? I've got a bit of spillage. I've got, I've got a lovely little lake coming down here now. Uh, when would I use a for uh, a julep strainer? I don't. <laughs> I'm sure I have one here. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Right, for those of you that don't know what, oh, yeah, I'm sure I have one. A julep strainer, right. The only, only time I use a julep strainer is in a mixing glass. Uh, and I, I don't even use them for juleps, to be fair. I use them for old fashions more than anything. But uh, they sit in, again, it's, it's, I, I, don't like, I don't like them. I really don't like them. I don't, I don't understand. Especially this one with another little flippy... You know, you can tell who makes that. Another little flippy thing there. It's kind of like, uh, look, it would, you know, they do fit, hang on, where's that? They do fit better in um, there. Basically, a julep strainer. A julep is uh, whiskey, mint, and uh, fresh mint, and sugar. And bitters, maybe. Um, so that's a julep. Now, me, I make a flipping julep straight in a julep cup. One of these bad boys. I don't strain it. I don't, you know, I don't get rid of the mint or anything. I just make it straight in there, as most people would. High-end bars would probably make a julep in a shaker or something like that, and then strain it to stop the mints coming out. And um, that's essentially what that does. That just stops the mint coming out, and they would strain it. So you've got, you haven't got any bits in your drink. But I just, I love the mint. You know, what? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, so yeah, they're, they're right. I've got one, I own one, I use it probably twice a year, if that. Because for me, they just do exactly the same job as that. 
That's going to that's going to stop the mint coming out. It's going to stop the ice coming out. It's going to stop everything else coming out. Um, so, yeah, that's me. Let's say proper like your Savoy hotel bartenders, your proper five star bartenders will have different uses and different stuff. But I, you know, you guys are not. They're not our audience. You guys at home are our audience. So, yes, that's what I would do. Right. Let me see. Let me see. I think I've got all the questions. Have I got, we've got, we've got still got quite a few on. That's cool. Let me go back to here. Let me see if she's got off the phone. Oh, wrong one. There we go. There we go. Right, let me see if she's off the phone. I'll put myself on mute so in case she swears at me. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon, uh, oh, hide, 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 hide. Which one is it? It's that one. Right, I reckon she might not be coming in. She's on a proper Zoom call. She's on a proper Zoom call. If anyone in the office wants to come in uh, who's not been in and wants to do the Porn Star Martini Challenge, come on in. If not, I'm going to show you her favourite cocktail without her being here. <laughs> but I will kind of, I've got to sort all this flipping water out these puddles so let me know about julep uh, hawthorn strainers which is your favorite hawthorn strainer do you like my opinions do you hate my opinions uh tony i'm really sorry i've got to put your uh your display thing back together again um let me just have a little clear up here a bit of water actually that'll get knocked over uh, let's get rid of all of these hawthorn strainers fill 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 so uh kathy's favorite cocktail was the sex on the beach so, uh, Hawthorne strainer, old fashioned glass anyway, that's what we'll keep there. Oh, who's coming in? Who's coming in? The door is open. Lydia's back! My time to shine. Lydia's back. Look, look at, look at the mess, look. Look at all that. Oh, God. Right, uh, water. There you go. So, questions. Where, no, we don't want that. Where, where'd you go out drinking? Where's your favourite? Where's, where's, where'd you go? Do you go out drinking? I like drinking in my garden because yeah. I don't have far to travel if I uh, get a little bit too tipsy. Drunk. Yeah. So your home bar, pretty well stocked? Yeah. With yeah. rum. What's your favourite rum? We could talk all day. Um, we've got a few rum, we've got a few rum people in the audience as well, so this might go, go down. Uh, I quite levels. like the Kraken at the moment. Oh, a bit of spiced so, rum. Yeah. With But this one's a dark rum. Kraken with what? Ginger beer? Uh, with I tend to just have it with Coke. Coke. I don't go any fancy. Don't miss. That's all right, isn't it? That's all right. So my my little rum cave at home, I've just started. I've niched my channel down into rum, instead of all the different cocktails. I've gone because I love rum's my thing. Brandy's my thing, but I do love rum first and foremost. Um, so I've got yeah, I've got loads of different white rums, aged rums, just the sort of basic ones at the moment. But we're going down uh, down rabbit holes. Right. Have you watched the Porn Star Martini Challenge? Uh, vaguely. Vaguely. I'll yeah. show you how to make it. Because uh, this is the cocktail that I'm kind of known for, yeah. for hen parties. And all. It's okay. the fun, it's the giggles, you know. Everyone loves a porn star martini. So, uh, and we've got different ingredients this week. Oh, I forgot my little doodah. You know, hang on, graphics. And that one, oopsie, that one. Oh, no, that's what we want. We want that one, look. There we go. I've done it. Ooh. We've got the little, we've got the leaderboard. So Izzy was first up, two minutes 12. Minutes. Alex, two minutes 35. Oh, no, maybe another bite. I, 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 I reckon, yeah, yeah. I reckon Alex is going to be shown up here today. So, uh, we've now got a fully equipped bar. Look at that, look. Mm. We've drink stuff, we've, we've, we've sorted me out. So we want that, we've got vanilla, we've got vanilla sugar. Uh, I will get another lime on the go. There we go, lime. My passion fruit puree, did it get out? Yes, it did, one and two. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ingredients, porn star martini. Okay, really, really simple. And we'll keep the, keep the lids off. I think Alex, we, I think potentially we're going to knock about 15 seconds off, Alex. I'd like to think so. Just because we didn't take the lids off for her. <laughs> we, we, kind of, we kind of left that. So let's do that. Passion fruit puree. That passion fruit puree is just that. It's nice and empty. Boys and girls. And I've turned the comments off so I can't see who's in the comments and who's not. There we go. That's better. Right. The, the picture of me has... What's that? What are you talking about, Tim? picture of me has shipped. It'll be on your... On your in no time. What picture? What, what are you talking about, Tim? Tim, are you drunk? Right. 
So Paul Star Martini, really, really easy. Cocktail shake. You've even got I've even got three different cocktail shakes for you. So you can pick your weapon of choice. I'll go for the one you already prepared. Okay, fair mm. enough. So you like Boston? Is that your is that your weapon of choice here? I'm not a fuss as long as he gets the drink, mate, okay. then right, I'm right. happy. So, yeah. really easy, and I'll line them up so you can't forget. Again, really, really simple. We go two parts, so two shots of vanilla vodka. Two. Okay, two. One of Pessoa. Half vanilla sugar. So what's that? Two, one, half. And if go. I remember rightly, I've done my homework, it then goes back up the other way. So yeah! yeah. <laughs> so we've got half a lime. Squeeze that all in. Now it'll roughly be about 15 mil anyway. So half a lime, 15 mil. We'll leave that one there for you. One, one. of the old Funkin. And give it a shake. Ready to go. I should really time myself doing this. I need, to, I need, to, I need to get my score up there. If I, if I don't get sub one minute, I'll be uh, I'll be devastated. <laughs> he says, right. So. So it goes two, one, half, half, one, two. Easy. You're yeah, going to smash this time, shape. aren't you? I don't think so. You are going <laughs> to smash this time. I I reckon you're going to. I reckon you're going to be. Two now. twelve for Izzy. I I reckon you're going to smash so. like thirty seconds off that. I've got. I'm quite competitive. So I'm oh, yeah. right. Sit on. Yeah. Offer. No, none of this. None of that. None of that. Mm. Yeah. Right. Mm. Okay. Oh, I didn't get cooked. There's two coops right in front, right in the front oh. of there. Yeah. Oh, I'll put all the Hawthorne strains away. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that and where's my nice one? What do I do with my nice one? I'm sure I left it out somewhere. There it is, right in front of me. Look. So, boom, boom. Plenty of froth, mm. decent head on it. Full glass, up to the brim. Job is a good one. Boom. Okay. We like that? That's what you've got to end up with. Looks beautiful. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Passion fruit. What you garnish it with? Obviously. Um, do you drink yeah. Paul Martinis? I do. Do you? Yeah. What's the best one you've ever had? I'm hoping yours. <laughs> Correct answer. Right, two, one, half, half on two. Let's pop okay. that out of the way. I'll wash this very, very quickly. Your ice is there, your lime is there, your chick is there. Yeah, okay. Your Hawthorne strainer is right here in front of me. Right. So you're making a, that one. That's your tin, that's your that, that's that, that's that, that. Right. Jigger, lids are off. I've got I've got my little stopwatch thing here ready to go. Okay. Oh, put my hands. I'm a little old school iPhone 6. Look at this, it's about 10 years old. There's no apps on it. Oh, look out, we've got an audience oh. coming. This yeah, is, oh. Do you need the stopwatch? You can do, you can watch if you want, but I've got, I've got one here. <gasps> audience, more audience, pressure audience. now. Right, okay. so you're ready. Your ice is right beside you. Your, okay. your finger me bob is right yep. there as well, look. Right there. Beautiful. For the line. Okay. Right. Ready. Steady. Go. Oh, and a bit oh, for the bar top. Dorm. That's all right. The bar's getting the bar's getting a good drink today. Instagram, anyone? You're still watching? Any? Is that you on Instagram? Oh, I'm not just that. Oh one. no, you it carry is. On. You carry on. Strong start. Oh, She's know. got the lime the right way around as well. I know people that put the lime only upside down oh. and then get flipping. Our puree. It's half a one. I'm going for one. Yeah. Boom. And then the old. Yeah. That's it. Right, and then ice. ice How much ice, ice, ice do I do? As much, much, much ice you can get. Fingers. Bit of fingers. No, fingers. No one cares. No one's watching. Um, give it a smack. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, great. Get that. Give me As long as it's shaking. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Strong right red, look. Look at that. Look at the face. Right red. <laughs> Are you happy? Okay, I'm happy. Do yeah. I pour it now? Yeah. Ugh. Double strain. Oh. Got to do it properly. This is where oh I lose my time. Oh, my God, Izzy. Oh, my God, Izzy. 
Oh, I've flipping nailed it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, I've lost oh, my time. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that. I flipping nailed it. I almost. Ready, ready, stop. That'll do. What is I that? said a good 30 seconds off Izzy's time. You've smashed 34 <gasps> seconds off her time. Off. Look at that. One at 38, oh, 73. Does oh, it taste good? That's the, I may have rushed it. No, that's really good. You like it? Pretty good. Two and a half, half on two. <gasps> Jesus, that's a, that's a time that's to beat. Irish one, in me. One thir what, Irish? Where are you originally yeah. from? Uh, so from Donegal. Donegal? Yeah. When? when? When did you come over to here? Well, I didn't. My dad did, so I've got the um, best half of it in. So you think you weren't born there? I wasn't born personally, but I've obviously... Where were you born? Here? In here, yeah. You're a Cambridge girl? Yeah. Through and through? Oh, Not through and through, completely. I'm okay. Harlow, Essex. <laughs> oh! So, yeah. the, rough, the rough The part rough part, of part, yeah. The rough part of Essex. Yeah. Oh, have we got any Harlow? No, we ain't got any Harlow people in the house. Don't. Cool. Yeah. So, if you go out, so you, where do you live? Uh, not, I not live literally. in Melbourne. Melbourne? I live about, yeah. Okay, so... Do you go into out out into Cambridge if it, if you go out? Do you uh, sometimes. What's your favourite cocktail bar? Like where where wherever London Cambridge well, there Royston was, is there a cocktail bar? There was bar in one um, opposite uh, John Lewis in Cambridge, but that was shut down. Opposite like John Lewis. Oh, Revs. Yeah. No, it was well, it was by Revs. It was uh, like a karaoke bar, so you can have like a few drinks and then. Back in so in the hotel, underneath yeah. the hotel. Yeah. I don't know how old you are, but um, do you remember it was O'Neill's? Do you remember it's the Irish bar? Oh, well, I think it was the Irish bar that shut Jesus, down. Jesus, that's yeah. a that's a few years ago. I know. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! It was Queens, not uh, not that O'Neill's, it. Queens. Yeah. Jesus. I know. I'll ask you off air, <laughs> off air how old yeah. you are. Yeah. I totally well, misjudged your age. My birthday already. next week. So. Is it? Yeah. You were. I know. Virgo. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm a Leo. Wow, Queens. Yeah. That's a blast from the past upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I can't, it was something else after Queens. I can't think what it was. So do you remember Revs as the Rat and Parrot? No, I don't. I've lost track of time. <coughs> wow, go down a whole different but route. Yeah, now. I've opened up a can of worms there, haven't I? Jesus. <laughs> cool. But yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go on then, take it. that away. I'll take this and my Take little. that away and that, and double park. Yeah. Walking home. So there we go, boys and girls. What was that? What was it? 130, 138, 73. That, I tell you what, Izzy's going to be straight on me after this. She's going to go, I'm coming in. I'm going to have another go. <laughs> that has proper, proper smashed it. So there we go, other departments. Uh, Julie, uh, Scott, oh, not Scott, uh, Paul. Paul. I'm high, I've got high hopes for Paul, actually. Uh, he might, he might... Um, he might come with it, bring his A game uh, next week if he's not, you know, on holiday somewhere. You know, we know what these these rich people are like in their posh cars and all that. He's, you know, so we shall see. Right, I'm not. I've still got um. Damo, Damo's in the house from China. Hello, hello, Damo. How are you? Uh, so I'm not going to finish there. I have got, as I said, the whole um, sex on the beach thing lined up. Actually, I don't know whether to leave for sex on the beach until Kathy comes on. Uh, we we shall we shall oh I don't know I'm just gonna have a little a little tidy up how many people we got on we got a few people on we've been going for an hour and ten let's get rid of the old porn star martini challenge should we no I'll 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 save my time until the end until no one else wants to come on then I'll save I'll let everyone set uh, times uh, and then we'll do that right hide that right let's go let's dive into some questions if anyone's got any questions at all in the slightest. Oh my God, there's loads of comments on Instagram and I haven't really, I think, or is it just people joining? They haven't really seen. Uh, Mad, Mad, Mad Zola requested to be in my live video. Who are you, Mad Zola? Slide into my DMs, we might be able to get you on. What we what we do, because this software is uh, pretty good, in like in a few weeks' time, once we got all used to it, and uh, we have sort of semi made a decision about this, sort of, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, I can I can dual screen this up. I can get three screen. I can get like five or six people on. So we might even do um, get people on remotely. That that could be quite fun. 
and today. Let's have a little, let's have a little tidy up here for a start and then uh, go on there. So Damo, Damo's on daddy duty, that's awesome. In China, in Gua, I, I keep saying this, you're not in Gua, I can't even say it, Guangdong. Where, where are you? Sheng, I forget where you are, Damo. I know, I know where you are, I know where you are in China, but I forget the name of the place. Claire, are you going to do yours last so you can practice going really fast? No, I'm not going to practice. I'm going to be bullish. Bearing in mind, I haven't made them event-wise for a few years because I, I just show people really slowly. <laughs> I'm just going to be really bullish and do it. Uh, but that is Guan, that's it. Guan, 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 I can't say that. Guan, what I thought was Guangdong, but it's Guan, Guanju, Guanju City. There we go. Uh, I would back myself to get, I, I reckon probably about five, six seconds below Lydia. I would back myself to get that. I don't want to say, yeah, I'll go for a minute. You know, that's, that's a bit too bullish. I, I guess I'll do about a minute and a half because I'm, I'm also used to pourers as well. Uh, so we, you know, we're kind of no pourers. So I'm, I'm just laying out all the excuses ready, <laughs> ready and waiting. Guangzhou, there we go. If people want to know where Damo is, Damo's got a really cool art channel as well. Tim, to be fair, Tim's got a really cool cocktail channel as well. Guangzhou. Uh, what? Steve's time. 40, sec 40 seconds? No pressure. 40 seconds? I don't know, about 40 seconds. If I had, if I was set in a proper bar environment with a speed rail, ice well, uh, pourers on there, I would back myself to do a porn star martini in about 30 seconds or less. Uh, because it's bang, 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 ice, bang, shake, and everything's there. Here, because you've got spirits up there, you've got ice there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I reckon I reckon add a good sort of 45 seconds to my time, purely for the fact, you know, we've got no ice wells, we've got no speed rails. So I reckon, I reckon sub 131, yeah, that's what I'm going for. That's, that's what I reckon. Right, let me, let me wash these down. I will, st I will save the whole uh, sex on the beach stuff for a, another time. Because Kathy, Kathy did sort of want to come on, but she didn't want to come on. So, you know, I've, I've saved. Basically, what I was going to do, so obviously Kathy wanted to know how to make the sex on the beach. That's her favourite cocktail, one of her favourite cocktails. What I was going to do was I was going to test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine other cocktails that you can make with those six ingredients. Uh, for for the um, the sex on the beach, obviously the French martini is one of them, or in some parts of the world called the flirtini. And um, so we've got that really really simple things. Uh, so yeah, hang on. So say Damo, I do miss little New Zealand. I don't, whereabouts were you in New Zealand, Damo? And I, I, obviously I knew you were a Kiwi, but I don't I don't think I actually know whereabouts in New Zealand you're from. I don't want to say Wellington. Because that would be a bit too presumptuous, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if anyone else wants to have a chat, feel free. How many have we still got on? We've got, we've got quite a few on. I quite kind of like that. It's quite quite a good. Obviously, it's bank holiday weekend. We were. Oh, we, we're definitely going to keep running it on Fridays for a good few weeks because I do like kind of Friday afternoons. We'll kind of build out content now. But it's the option to go for uh, maybe a Wednesday. Uh, we, sh we shall see, but I kind of like Fridays. Fridays is kind of cool. Uh, I've got money on, I've got good money on 40 seconds. Right, I'll tell you what we should do. Not that I'm encouraging betting or anything like this. We should have a charity kind of sweepstake type thing on my score. <laughs> on my time. 40 seconds. I won't get, I won't, not, not in this setup, I won't get close to 40 seconds. Not, not a chance because it's too... Mm, mm, mm. But I, yeah, we, we shall see. We shall see. My hometown is in Hamilton. I've, I've heard of Hamilton. I couldn't tell you where whereabouts it was. I've heard of Hamilton. That's cool. Right then. Um, any more questions? Any more people involved? I'm assuming a few of these viewers are drink stuff. Uh, let's just see. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Boot, bootleg Greg cocktails. Palm Beach, Florida, in the house. Hello. Palm Beach, Florida. That's quind a nice place. Dun, dun, dun. Is there any more comments on the old Instagram? Just south of Auckland. That's cool. No, no more comments on the old gram. That's fine. 
that is fine. Uh, whether we keep doing it on the old gram, I don't know. There is software that I can use to run this into Instagram, but Instagram doesn't really like it, and I don't want I don't want Drink Stuff's account to be kind of deleted. <laughs> So I will keep doing it to this, but you know, YouTube, YouTube is where all the fun is. You know, all the cool people hang out on YouTube. That's where live videos kind of be. This video will obviously live on. It'll be chaptered up so you can dive into little places like that. Um, but that's that's it really. I think uh, I'll definitely leave the Sex on the Beach stuff till another day. Um, I can't think of anything else to tell you. So that is it. Coming up next week is uh, Gordon's. I don't think that's been done. Gordon's Orange Gin, Mediterranean Orange Gin, I think is dropping on Monday. That's Monday's video. So that's a £25 cocktail haul with that. That's kind of a nice gin. Uh, so that is coming up there. On Wednesday, the whole strawberry, morning strawberry, that's dropping on Wednesday as well. Three cocktails with that. Uh, so that's that. And then we will be back again next Friday uh, for another Happy Hour Live. And uh, we'll come up with some more stuff to do. At some point, I'm going to do a vodka tasting video. Do it, Tim. Do it. Do it. I want, I want to see what the States has got. What's the US? What are you backing yourself for decent vodka? I, I keep seeing the US people come up, talk about Tito's quite a lot. Uh, and I want to see. I want to see. You've got to do, if you could get it, one of the English vodkas. I chase the potato vodka. That's kind of what I want. I want to see that go ahead, because that's really good. Um, but yeah, big shout out to these guys as well. Thank you very much, Tiempo. That's a really good, really, really nice tequila. Um, I say, kind of really inoffensive, kind of just a nice one, little, little dribble. It's nice. It's so, the whole cliche, you know, we say, oh, that's really smooth. It's such a cliche word. There's no other ways to describe stuff. It's just smooth. But that is proper, proper smooth. That just, you know, that really, really goes down well. Uh, so there we go. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'm going to cap it there. Uh, for all my regular fans, I will see you Sunday night, Sunday fun day in the house, more cocktails, Smugglers Cove cocktails. Um, so guys, anyone that doesn't follow me, come over to my YouTube channel. I will give Drink Stuff YouTube channel a shout out on Sunday night as well to come over to us here. Two live shows a week from me. And as always, if you've got any suggestions, any other things you want me to feature, let me know in any of the comments. We'll get on with it. Uh, as I say, I have taken notice. Two of you said that, I think. So that I will be filming next week. All right. Until then, have a great bank holiday weekend. Oh, one slid in before I was about to go. Cool. See you Sunday. Thanks for joining us, Claire. You go, you go and have a good snooze, good sleep. Uh, no doubt off to work later tonight. And I will see you all... Uh, Next week, toodaloo. Got to, find, got to find the end screen now. That'll do, that'll do. There we go.